Hello, how are you guys doing? Doing good? It's good. Hi. How's it going? Gonna boot up uh, Dognarampa. I figured that's what we're gonna do today. I need to get another game in the rotation. Not sure what. Was gonna stream today, but this super fun thing that happens now. I don't know why. Um, they just. I don't know. It's awful. Like, uh, I'll wake up and it feels like I've drink, like, just had battery acid. So that, that sucks. Like, I just drank a whole bunch of battery acid for no reason. Um, so, that's fun. Um, don't know what that is. So now I'm going to do a reading game while my throat's all fucked up. What do I think about eggs? Listen, dude. All right. Wait, hold up. I just got a notification, and I believe it's for... Let me see. Yes. Yes, it says that, uh, that I went live. And then I can manage my stream. So this is a fun one. It goes, you can manage your channel directly from your phone. It's kind of fucking distracting to text me, Twitch, or just send me notifications. Like, you know I'm streaming. So, like, the, the notification thing's kind of annoying. Can you, uh, can you kindly fuck off? I absolutely never want to have notifications for anything. I don't want to know when things are happening. I don't want to be involved in things happening. I just want to not. You gotta go see RevStream. Listen. If you gotta go watch someone else's stream, that's totally fine. You just don't need to tell me about it. I understand. That Rev guy is a lot more popular than me. Did you ever think about streaming that, uh, or finishing that Yakuza 0 game? Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'll be real, like, I would stream that and it was like, about 30 people would show up. And it's like, okay. And it was none of the people who would request it. And I wasn't super duper feeling it, so it's just like, okay then. Gotta like, you know, do that balancing act of things that I want to stream, y'all want to stream, and the people who make the game want me to stream. Preferably, all of those are happening at the same time. Jack here, thank you for the eight months of support. Um... choppy audio listen if you don't know about the travis scott or whoever the fuck the fortnite burger what the fuck are you doing twitch gotta put all the the the, the bandwidth and making sure you know about that burger marines get broken ass stuff in crusade who cares about crusade I, i'm not dealing with crusade all my homies hate crusade And the rest. Oh, why did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. I told them, make the most of your life, because you only get one shot at it. Your robots, you could just rebuild them, right? And once it's over, nothing can replace it. Oh, why did they take their lives for granted? If only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder to earn my love. It's all their fault. Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. That's a yikes for me. Um, orthogonal cast, thank you for the, the gift sub. Big Genghis. Okay. <laughs> but the more I think about it, why did those kids even exist? I don't know. Why What's did they? An irreplaceable life anyway. 
This is murder school. I know it's murder school. Voyage without passion, I think, purpose. I didn't get to read that whole thing. Let me go ahead and turn off Steam Friends real quick. The morning after Gonto was declared the blackened, we gathered in the dining hall, as always. Voyage without passion or purpose. Thank you. Could have said porpoise. It's like the shittiest pun ever. I don't even know why I brought it up. No one talked about porpoises. Is this everyone? No. What's his name's not here? As always. I'm gonna... No. How could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. Cockitch ain't here. Yeah. And then he got dunked on super duper hard last time. Like someone asked me who do I think would win in a fight. And this was after I'd seen what's his name cough up blood before. I was like, I, I think Kato wins that. Turns out, no. Not at all. Even with such dark time, one of us was still bright and trying to cheer us all up. Jeez. Don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know? Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey. They're getting a lot of mileage out of that. Are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great after yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. <laughs> I'm 100% better now. But... There's no way you could get that better that much quickly after coughing up that much blood. Ah. Again, not a doctor, but if you ever cough up blood, like kind of regardless of how much it is, I don't think you just sleep that off. I think you gotta go and, um, you know, maybe take care of that shit. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed a... I coughed too much and cut my throat a little, that's um, all. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Internal bleeding, that's where the blood's supposed to be. Well, that's the problem. It's external bleeding. That's how you know it's bad, because the blood's coming out of him. I don't think you can, like, cough it up and then, like, lick it up and be like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's back in my body. It's fine now. It doesn't work that way, guys. All of your bleeding has to be internal. You can't have any blood on the outside of you. Seriously, you guys are... Worrying too much just because you all love me and can't help your Of course we'd be worried. My bad. I'm, but I'm serious, you don't need to worry about me anymore. Should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. Come on, man. Okay, don't glare at me like that. I clicked several times, like it wanted me to take that pause there. Don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I have you guys help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat. C yeah, come on. Let's all eat. Kaido spoke cheerily. Then he left to go get his meal. Is there really something... Nothing wrong? With what I saw, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Hmm. Despite Kaido's remarks, he could probably... Or he should probably receive medical attention just in case. Yes. We've got another reason we got to get out of here. Okay. On top of that, we need to do it fast. What? Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? I don't even know what the secret of the outside world is either. Gonto wouldn't tell us what it is because he'd give us so much despair that we'd want to die. Was that? If that's true, then how could we possibly be... What could possibly be happening outside this academy? I mean, hit squads specifically for y'all because you guys are the hope of the future and yada yada. Kato returned to the table, his hands full of food. I mean, we can't figure that out by thinking about it. So there's no point in wasting your brain power. I mean, thinking about things is kind of how you build brain power, I think. We can't simply not think about it. You know, Kato is upgraded Leon. You're not wrong. Like, I feel like Leon didn't get enough, um, uh, enough screen time to figure out, like, what his 
personality was, at least in my playthrough. Maybe you could get more playthrough time and, like, learn about him and do all the social events and all that shit. Sure, there's a chance the outside world was messed up because of Monokuma. Making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He wants us to put pressure on us. Koichi and Gunter just snapped into the pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You. Such an optimi uh, optim ophthalmologist. That's. I. I know what she's going for. Can you prescribe me some rose-colored glasses for me too? Uh... I think you mean Optimus. But you know. It's close. Either way, that's something I think about uh, to think about once we get outside. So focus Suichi. on that now. As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Suichi? Uh, okay. I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. They're barely. That's understandable. There's barely any clues. That's an eye doctor. I know, but that's like optometrist, right? But that's like not what she meant. I read optimist, but that's not what she. That's the joke. Since the incident yesterday, Kato wouldn't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry, but I had no choice. I had no other options. I thought this game was translated, but they had to put the pun in it. I don't know how... Yeah, how did that pun work? Oh, shit. Am I live? Phone, are you letting me know that world-renowned streamer... Yes, it's letting me know yet again... That I'm live. Guys. I'm live. Thank you. Thank you, phone, for letting me know twice. My deduction wasn't wrong. If we hadn't identified Go Gonta as the culprit, we'd all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. There's nothing I could do. Hey, I should mention so it right now. Friday. This Friday. I'm saying it again. Town of Nowhere stream this Friday. Regular stream time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you guys have not come up with plans yet, you should. And if you don't like the plans that were enacted in the last stream, raid rev after. Okay, I will. Isn't it the one year anniversary of Town of Nowhere? When's the next Town of Nowhere stream? It's this Friday. This Friday, like three days from now or whatever. Today's Wednesday, so that's that's two days from now, I think. This this month came on real fast. At six PM GMT minus five. Probably. It's a hyper specific thing that you've said, so yeah. I should let use Twitch's built-in scheduling function to use that. Yeah, I just have it saying, like, I'll probably stream that day. Who knows what? Friday. Be there. It's going to be good. It started somewhere around December, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't really think it needed to take a year to get to this point, but... Um, I just had just an awful fucking year and, um, it, uh, this year sucked and trying to write something and feel confident in my ability to be able to do any sort of writing or talk about like, I don't know, just any sort of creative output was not was not happening and it's like do I want this to be shit or do I want to wait a week that but every week <laughs> that being said I think the next one's gonna be really good I'm really happy with it um, I think you guys will be too um, it make me feel great if you were there thank you guys for being here now I should get back to reading what I'm reading Koichi huh? The instant Kato spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. No. 
I haven't seen him, and even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't I haven't seen him either. It's like he's completely vanished. Hmm. He's apparently very good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um. Can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little because he, he enjoys watching us suffer. His face when he screams that he was having fun whenever he sees us suffer. It's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. How annoying. If we weren't interested in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. <sighs> Ironic, the rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Makiro, that's no good. Playing the killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. I know. Mm -hmm. Is Mackie Roll a nickname for Mackie? That's a good nickname. <laughs> it wants me to take, makes me want to take a bite at it for with soy sauce and spicy mustard, right, Mackie Roll? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I guess we don't know how close we are just yet. Hey. If we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Koichi next. I bet even now he's hiding somewhere plotting against us. No, no actually, I think we're safe right now. Koichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would obviously implicate him. But... But he might be planning to make us suffer in some other way, like he how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... And then here he is, because he's an asshole and he'd show up like that. No, here's Mo... Yahoo! The fact... Okay. Shot in the dark. The fact that his, like, handkerchief, like... Ascot, I don't know what the fuck you want to call that thing that Koichi has there. Is black and white? That shit ain't, that shit ain't Ska. That, that's some Monokuma shit. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you here? <laughs> Got business with you guys, of course. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Yeah, do. You're being awfully compliant. Oh, yeah. Of course, I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Huh? Outnumbered? Well. I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from the start to finish. <laughs> that one was okay. Anyway, here's your prize this time. You get two keys. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. Well... What's the difference? The drawing on Monokuma over there was a little weird. Now then, go find the areas that these keys unlock. See you later. Bye, Inara. I see what you did there. What should we do? Yeah, it was a pretty weak ass burp, and I also didn't burp into the mic. But hey, once we finished Town of Nowhere, um, the little errand that I was doing was going getting uh, the new preamp. So, so for those of you that don't do audio stuff. A preamp is like, um, you got your mic, you got the cable that goes to the preamp, and the preamp does some fiddly bits that make it sound good. I'll be real, I don't do audio stuff. Anyway, um, this, this one, because it doesn't have a driver, um, has peaks when it hits the high stuff. Like certain letters, certain sounds. Um, it, it'll... It'll clip because it can't actually get to that. So it kind of, I don't know. It's something that annoys the shit out of me, and I couldn't figure out for the longest time what was happening. Also, my mic is super quiet. Um, the new, the new thing should fix that completely. So, um, it should make it louder. It should make it clearer. It should make it a lot better. But I need to upgrade to Windows 10, which I don't want to do until after I finish Town of Nowhere. So. After Town of Nowhere is over, I'll be able to do that. And then we can move on to the next series. Preamp cleanly amplifies the microphone level sound. Yeah. That. Oh. What, should we do, what should we do about this new area? I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Koichi. Calibrated Gallo, thank you for the three months of support. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why? So you're saying humans are low priority, typical for the bloodless, tearless machine. Do you have to be like that? Like, there's a time and a place for robot racism or whatever. Like, now is not time. 
You gotta kind of like stick together with the people that don't want to murder you. Um. I'm not sure if we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. <sighs> what do you want to do, Kato? <sighs> I'm worried about Koichi, but there's no point in worrying about him at all the time. All right. All right. Our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. Then... Well, I'll hold on to that. Okay. That's right. Without meeting eyes, Kato placed the key into my palm. Mm -hmm. Kato, Suichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Well... Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine. Let's go already. Dr. Mi Miao Wu. Thank you for the five months. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Five months of support. Doing great. We split up and began our search. Yeah, I think he wants to instill chaos. He wants... See, this is part of the other reason that I think he might be like... Uh, um, You know, not, not necessarily like a... It's really hard to read him. He's an interesting character because he's an asshole, but I don't really know what he's doing. Like, he's just kind of a prick for no real reason. Um, and I assume he has a reason. I just... I, I'm not allowed in on that secret. We're not losing any frames. I've lost zero frames this stream. It shouldn't be having any problems for y'all. looking at chat rather than where I was going um there there's a world where he's actually a good idea and he's just playing like like someone in chat said uh 5d chess where he's actually a good guy it's just it doesn't seem like it because he's playing some game that we're not we don't know what he's doing alternatively he's just a, a junko follower and he's in that whole shtick. That, that's part of his crowd. Not here. I would think that it would be here, right? Or he's just a weird asshole. I mean, that's entirely a possibility too. Extravagant door. Probably this one. Hmm. The key works, but it won't turn. Could it be ticking? That's a runaway thing. Sensing danger, I hurried back away from the door and then it exploded. Trap? That was dangerous. Hmm. Could have been really hurt. This is gonna be um Koichi's room, isn't it? key. It's still here. Could it be used for something else? Like his ultimate room. From the look of this door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? There's only a few of us left that don't have a lab All yet. Right. I should check inside. I turn the knob. Well, it's locked. Hmm. It won't open. Uh, yeah. research lab is closed because the owner is dead. Huh? The owner's dead. Hey, um... Per the rules, if the student l dies before their ultimate lab is opened, then the lab will remain closed. That's, That's the first time I'm hearing of this. Yeah. It's because the first time I mentioned it. No point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway, if this lab belonged to someone who died, then, then it's Rantaro's lab? Aww. How disappointing. You knew what his talent was, you would... You'd know what his talent was if you went into his lab be quite dramatic development if you learned what his talent is right now. Huh? What do you mean? Hmm? Yeah, I was thinking Ryuchi as well. That 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 works is like a, a Japanese name, right? Where did I get that? Where the fuck did that come from? Ryuchi Fumis. I mean, Fumis, I know where that came from, but like... Where did that come from? What part of my brain was that okay with? Yes, what does that mean? To tell you the truth. That was sort of unexpected development. Can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh, no. oh what a waste. I can't believe I, that idiot killed him. Fuck you. Antara's lab. I'm curious about his talent, but it's too late now. Well, like axe murder? 
This is probably going to be relevant in some way or another, but I mean, like, look at that door. Look at the little symbol on it. That's some axe murder shit. That's a straight up murder. Oh, hey, look, there's a goblin. Did I see someone? Um. How did this even happen? That was like a separate cinematic, right? How, how, how do you fuck that up? Okay, well I can use that key again. I need to find what's his name's lab. Like that looks like a fake door right there. Like doesn't it? Like the tiling there? Like, there's definitely a fake door right there. Right, right here. It's not it. All right, well where else have I seen doors that I couldn't get into? Honestly don't know. That's not a door. Those aren't doors. We've already been in there. That's a glitch, definitely. Um... I'm trying to remember what the... They had a conversation about what would happen if two people got voted for and only one of them was a black and what would happen. And I think Koichi actually was the one who brought it up. Right? I feel like that's relevant. You know what I was thinking about recently? I didn't like actually watch it, but I thought about watching it, which is usually how my mind works. Um, I was thinking about Dot Hack Sign. Does anyone remember that show? I remember playing the video game and thinking it was pretty rad, but I don't know if it was actually good or if I just had Stockholm Syndrome with that game. Sort of like Oblivion where it was actually bad, but like, It was like Sword Art Online, but less horny. Like, it's the same sort of concept where they like go into an MMO and then, oh no, they're stuck. I think it was like the first one. They did a port to the PS4 and it's like 20 bucks for all four of them. It's on Steam too. It was essentially a grindy JRPG, which is weird that I enjoyed it, but I think it was just because I was hanging out with friends. And my friends liked it. And so therefore I liked it because that's when I had that level of self-confidence how much because I mean it was like regular anime horny and not like overtly anime horny one of the first isekais sure yeah that's a thing that exists Oh, right, I forgot about this door. What is this? What do you want to bet it's asshole's room? It's unlocked. All right, let's go. What precisely is the default level of horniness? Like, the outfits are skimpy on the girls, and the swords are big, and the tits are big, but, like... There's not weird, like, lo like, like Dragon Ball is sort of a default level of horny for anime. Like, think about, like, think about, like, the outfits that Bulma wears and stuff. I feel like it's a scale. Like, that's, like, the low end of horny. Like, uh, fucking Pokemon. Low end of the horny scale. That's what I'm saying. It's like, but on the other end of that, on the other end of that is stuff like uh, Sword Art Online and um, uh, 
Oh, what's the name of the one with Aqua? I mean, that one was like playing out for jokes. Konosuba, yes. Konosuba was like not quite to SAO levels of horny. High School of the Dead was pretty horny. Like super horny. Let's talk about dystopian tidocracy again. No. ReZero, I think, is fairly horny. Like, we'll say, like, Pokemon and, like, Dragon Ball are low levels of horny. Like, on a level of that to, like, on the other end, like, Hentai, I would say, like, from what I remember, Dot Hack was closer to the, the Dragon Ball side, but definitely a little bit more horny. Like the OG Dragon Ball, yeah. Like Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. That level of horny. I see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where's the staircase lead? Speaking of hentai, Osama Bin Laden. I was listening to this thing about him the other day. And um, it turns out that like the hard drive that they found like him with when they killed him... Um, had a lot of not just porn but like hentai on it and he was staying at the place he was staying at with like a bunch of other people um like two other three other people one of which was his son right now here's the thing i think I think that this was his stuff because the games that he had that were hentai games were all like from the 1980s sort of level, right? Why the fuck would anyone want to play like a goal old like Commodore 64? Rev, please no hentai theory. No, we're gonna have the Osama Bin Laden jerked it to hentai theory. You know what else was on his fucking thing? And then I'll leave it here. You know what else was on his fucking hard drive? Bible Black. Hey, Natalie. <laughs> True facts. If you go to the CIA website, you can go and find the stuff that he had. Certain stuff like um, Ant's Life, you can't download that from the CIA website. But you can download other stuff like his Animal Crossing save file and stuff like that. I think you can also download Bible Black from them. So. You can do that. Keep in mind that in his other files, there's just like, you know, regular porn and like, you know, videos of like reporters and stuff getting beheaded but like also bible black is in there and i feel like that's something that i've been just like holding on to for a minute like i haven't had a chance to bring that up so we were talking about sao and i figured now was the right time anyway i'm gonna it's a pretty long staircase where does it lead was this one of those like trick staircase things What's Bible Black? Don't look it up. Just imagine the most fucked up hentai you could possibly think. Just the worst shit. That. Don't look it up. Just don't. Just trust me. Like, I jokingly will tell you to look certain stuff up. That's one of those ones that you just don't. You just don't. Finally reached the top. I feel like there's something there. It's best to be cautious. Oh, hey! It's, uh, what's his name's room? Ultimate Astronaut. Kato. Got it. Finally, it looks like my research lab. Oh. I thought you already had one. <laughs> Stairs were pretty long and a pain. And such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. <sighs> Man, just climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Hey! 
What do you mean just? This is the main stage. It's finally been hey. revealed. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. Hey. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful inside here, probably. Don't screw around. What do you mean probably? It's pro probably full of super important stuff. Like what? Name one. Name one space thing. Bet you fucking can't. Hey! Hey, isn't anyone gonna give me a? Pi There's no reason to. Calm Shut down. I'm not gonna give you a piggyback ride. Um. Not not you, Chad. I was I was quizzing him. I don't think he knows a fucking thing. I think that head is empty. Let's go inside then. Oh, okay. <sighs> I climb all the stairs just for a room that looks like a playground. Feels like it was a huge waste of time, but let's look around for anything useful. Hey, Himiko. Hey. How about you give me a- how about you go fuck yourself? She's still saying that? No, I'm not about her shit today. Sometimes I'm alright with it, but right now not. You probably want to save your coffee points, because that's uh, a thing that's happening soon. We're, we're doing a uh, we're doing the the town of nowhere this Friday at 6 p.m. You need those coffee points, my dude, if you want to be there. Kata still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is gonna be awkward. Just like slap his ass, make it more awkward. I think at a certain point it will like wrap around to not being awkward anymore. Hmm. This is amazing. It looks like a cockpit of a spaceship. Pretty cool, perfect for my research lab. You. you can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, ah. but I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Got it. I guess I'll work it all out. Re reckless confidence. Why don't you ever want to be the vehicle you're driving? You know. Oh, is this really a simulator? It feels way too elaborate. Nah. There's no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate the fucking shift your driver would no. know? What do you think about tomorrow's smash thing? Um I just I don't I don't care <laughs> like I, I feel like this happens every time with smash like a new smash game shows up right and I, I try to get into it because I'm like maybe I'll like this one and then I'm like it's really just not my thing and then people are like, dude, did you hear about the new thing? The new, the new person in Smash? Do you, do you, do you think it'll be the Pringles guy? Do you think the Pringles guy will be the next Smash character? There's a Pringles can on the guy's, on the guy's chair. When he was announcing it last time. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe it's Pringles, my dude. Pringles man in, in, in Smash. They got the voice actor for the Pringles guy. He's on the, the roster, so it's probably him. Thank you for the Anon uh, gift sub, and thank you. I need professional help for the five gift subs. But thank you. It's it's not really that Smash Bros. is a bad game. It's just not my kind of game. And so it's just like, I don't know. I'm glad other people are happy. You know what? You're right. I should be glad for other people, too. I need professional help. Thank you for the five months of support. Twitch won't shut about my resub. Well, there you go. I just, I, I can't get into, um, I can't get into it, you know? I don't know why. Do you think they'll add Ligma to, to Smash? I think Ligma and Smash go together like um, peanut butter and jelly, yeah. Lig my balls. Smash. Anyway, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? At that moment. Hey. Hey, come look at this. Huh? Something wrong? Well, Found this in the back. Huh? What's this, a file? The Gopher Project. 
Countries from all around the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan, but none of us can remember the details of that. Hmm. So the file has information about that project. What, what does it say? Okay. Hold on, hold on, I'll read it. Uh, um. Let's see. Gopher Project. Last hope to save humanity from disaster raining down from space. Burned with the imperfect imperative projects of boys and girls of exceptional talent. This pro the purpose of this pro of the Gopher Project. That is the purpose of this Gopher Project. Hey. What does the rest say? What does it say? Don't tease us. Just say it already. Can you guys not read too? The rest is blacked out. I can't read any further. What did you say? Main screen turn on? All your base. Did Monokuma do this? Damn it. He's just screwing with us. Do you think that this part about the girl, boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Yeah. Hey. We get signal. Main screen turn on. God, that was a fucking bop. I would unironically listen to that remix. Like, all of the time. Back when that was a thing. It makes me old. I was, I was playing Counter-Strike today, right? Had a really nice conversation with this kid. Um, and he's like, dude, I'm going to try and do the YouTube thing. I'm 16. I'm going to try and make this thing happen. You know, remember my name. I'm like, all right, dude, I will. Because he, he looked me up because he heard my mic, right? And I was like, yeah, you know, I've been doing this YouTube thing for about 10 years now. And he's like, man, so, so you, you're the kind of guy that like my dad would watch. And I'm like, oh, oh. Oh! Hurt. <laughs> he wasn't meaning it in a mean way, but it was just like, oof. Assigned boomer. <laughs> what could the seeds of the future hope to mean? I mean, like, seriously, what the fuck, though? How many gray hairs do you have? None. What is this about the new world? Is it like Noah's Ark? But we only have one damn ass. How are the dumbasses supposed to breed? Kato, don't answer that. You don't know how it works. Huh? Noah's Ark? My dude. Because. Well, because Noah's Ark was built of gopher wood. Yeah. I knew that. So... Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible, but it, to choose the name that name in particular, mm. it does seem related. I mean, it's a weird thing to say otherwise. The fuck is gopher wood? No idea. How is all this related to the academy? To us? Yeah. None of that makes any sense. No. We find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. What if that kid's dad? I think he does. Like from what he was saying, he's like, "Oh yeah, I think I've heard of Vine, Vine Sauce before." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably, you probably know of like, uh, you know, Vinny and Yol." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I've heard of Yol before." And I'm like, "Cool." And he was like asking me questions about how to get going with YouTube, and I'm just like. Listen, I'd skip YouTube, but I'd fucking do, uh, I would do, you know, Twitch. I think Twitch is a great thing to do right now. Like, it's going to be hard right now because everything, like, is super fucking, like, everyone's thinking they can do a fucking podcast and do stream and stuff. So it's, it's a very competitive market right now because people don't have anything else to do other than stream. But, like, dude, if that's what you want to do, do it. But don't do it so that way you can make the money or the fame. Like, do it because you enjoy it. Because you can get that satisfaction, like, instantly. You know? Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. All right. it must be somewhere else. Gotta go look That's for it true. first. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... 
Like, if you're doing it for the, 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 the fame and the money, like, that stuff you can't count on. Doing it for the fun of just, like, experiencing something with other people, like, you can get that pretty straightforward right off the bat. And that that's what I'd recommend, because you're going to have... The money is nice, don't get me wrong. I like the money, but, like, there are easier ways of making money. Um, there's a lot easier ways of making a reliable paycheck than streaming and YouTube. YouTube sometimes is just like, hey, we've decided you should go fuck yourself. We're not going to explain that shit at all because we have a monopoly. It's like being a stripper. Oh, you mean like being a stripper. Being a stripper seems like something that would be like, yeah, fairly... Like, more or less, more consistent work, though I don't know how that works right now with the world the way it is. Like, I don't know how you can socially distance with strippers. That... It's like part of not what stripping is. Part of what's neat about strippers is the not social distancing, I think. I think that's the idea, right? OnlyFans. Fair enough. OnlyFans is fucking hard. I tried putting my tits out there and no one fucking cares, man. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, because we gotta find the flashback light. OnlyFans is probably super saturated as well. A flashback light? That's our only- or that's our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't know if I want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no other ways to restore our memory. Go for project. The last hope to save humanity from disaster in space. See the future, new world. Go for project. Now, now I think I called this, right? Where, Where is my piece of paper that says... That shit. Not that. Not that. No, not that. Not that. I wish my, like, sticky notes were any bit relevant to each other. Like, that there was any sort of cohesion to what was on my desk here. I called this. I literally called this shit. My little notebook for Town of Nowhere stuff. I'm gonna like upload that whole thing and I wanna do like a breakdown video on the Town of Nowhere once we're done with it. I'm pretty sure I said like I'd give away subs if I was exactly right on that, but I don't remember how many I said and how that was gonna work. Here it is. Spaceship simulation to escape what's her name? Junko is what I meant there. Five gift subs if I'm right on that. It's like Noah's Ark. How's that related to the Ultimate Academy? That's a very fucking specific thing that I called. We haven't gotten it 100% confirmed, but it certainly feels like that's confirmed at this point. So once that's confirmed, that's when I'm going to give away subs. Like, I want them to literally say, we're on a spaceship. Right, and Lieutenant Shadow says that if they're right in that it's like a simulation like I was saying, then they want to be banned for a month. It's not even confirmed that it's Junko. Like, yeah, that's that's the thing. I mean, it, it fucking is, because it's every game. It's been Junko or Junko's fans. Which, I would accept Junko's fan base being the reason that we went to space. Who's left? Like, not much of anyone. Like, she's super duper dead, so I don't think she can come back unless it's a sort of, like, uh, going to AI or... Um, Chihiro? Cheerios? You remember Cheerios from the first game?
Well, it's actually kind of letting me go down a little bit. Oh, it stopped me. Okay. I was gonna, like, glitch into the stairs. I don't know where that plan was going, but I definitely had a thought there. The green here is completely gone. This place feels mechanical now. Looks like construction is almost done. What happens then? What did you fucking make? The Ultimate Academy. The likes of which we've never seen before. Well, what else? Will we ever find out what that means? Cheerios is in game two? I thought Cheerios was in the first one. One and two. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, did the Cheerios AI thing started in one. Oh, hey, I don't remember ever seeing this door, but if that cyber key goes anywhere, I'm going to guess it goes here. It looks like a door. I don't think we could open that with my bare hands. So, could I use, like, a fucking key on it? Yeah, there we go. That sound. Was that the giant door unlocking? Hey. Get, get over here. Let's go. I don't know why they don't just hang out with me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Ah, oh, what is this place? This is... I feel like I'm inside a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out any moment. We've already dealt with mechas. Safety save. I don't think you can fuck this game up. But sure, here's the safety save. Just in case if there's something that I'm not aware of. Took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. Like, they got lasers. That's awesome. Hey. Weird of you to teleport. Hmm. It's different from all the other places we've seen so far. It's like a maze-like hallway. Perhaps it's to defend the building from what it leads to? I mean, it's kind of a shitty maze because I've got, like, a, a mini-map, but I do want to see if, like, these... What is even the point of this room? Why would you do this? What is that? Apparently nothing, so never mind. Hmm. Looks important. What's this? The shutter is huge. This is... Seems to be well fortified. Hmm. It's an electric barrier. We could raise the shutter while it's active. Hey! If they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some sort of secret in yes. there. It's a possibility. Let's investigate and see if we can get in. Oh. Wait, it's dangerous. Don't! Before I could finish my warning, Kibo approached the shutter and... <laughs> What's this? Kibo! Get away from hey! Don't get centered off my alarm now. Come on, come on. The only way I can turn off that alarm. I can only turn off that alarm? Or I... What was the line? That's going to be important. Out of the way so I can turn off the alarm. Okay. You guys got to be more careful. Be careful. What was that alarm for? It's so loud. That's the alarm system. Here. You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? Oh, no. In order to turn it off, you need to use our alarm remote. This is going to be relevant. Hey, um... Super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. I wonder if this will be relevant later. Why? Fucking why? You could just, like, cut out every line of dialogue and just have him go, why? To anything that happens. Why is there an alarm system in a, all, a place like this of all places? <laughs> this 
place is so important that it needs to be beef. It needs beefed up security. I guess that's why I'm here. I'll also explain the. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain the electric barrier. Hey, um to turn it off, you got to enter a 59-digit. Oh, come on, just add 10 more. To the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once. So make sure you memorize it. Hey! Wait, slow down, please. Five. Oh, three. What was the rest? Only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. The electric barrier and alarm system. That's pretty tight security. Why? Why? <laughs> Thank you for the Leon bits. Uh, I need professional help. Yeah, he does have a built-in recorder. Why not use it? It's actually really easy to crack a four-digit code. Tell me more. Why? What are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Like I said, this is a very important place. Thank you for the Leon, gay Leon bits. Mantis Toboggan Magnum Dong. That's the name. He's kind of an idiot. Yeah. Like I said, this is a very important place. My mood is swinging. Well, it used to be important, but. That was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? It's pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's pointless. So I might as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm above that shutter. Why did any of, why? Right. See, I turned off the alarm system, didn't I? Good old one, two, three, four accounts for more than 10% of the passwords. It's more than a bottom. Yeah, I guess there are thousands of combinations that could be in a four digit thing, but most people are gonna choose one, two, three, four. So you could very easily get someone's pin number right if you just guess one, two, three, four. Like you have a better than, it accounts for 10% of passwords. So you have a 10% chance, which is way higher than it should be. Huh. Can you repeat that code you mentioned earlier? What? How annoying, but since it's your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. Monokuma walked up to the control panel and punched in the no series of numbers and... Okay. Now you can manually raise the shutter and you can go inside. You can either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and the electric barrier, or just the control panel out here. Or do nothing, and the barrier and the alarm will stare off. Now then. Well then, safe travels. I wonder what prick will come up and fuck this up for everyone. Just let into this highly secure area. What's this game? Shuichi. Let's go, Suichi. We have no other direction but to move forward. My inner voice is telling me, hope moves forward. Okay. Why haven't they tied him down yet? They don't know where he is. I think that's the only reason they haven't. Yeah, you're right. Something tells me that Kakich does ruin this. He'll show up and he'll be like, ah -ha -ha! with his weird ass laugh. Over there, it's the exiles. Uh. An exile? Oh, no. All five of them, it's too dangerous. Let's run. Uh. Wait a second. Hmm. Not moving, they're not reacting to us. Lights are off. That's right. Now you mention it, you're right. What's going on? <laughs> Super surprise. Surprise? This is actually the exile hangar. Yep, this is where the exiles are stored in the balls. Facility for storing exiles. Hey, um... This is where I was guarding the precious exiles so no one would mess with them. It's pointless now. That's. Is it because the monocombs are gone? No one can control the exiles anymore? Huh? No one can control them anymore. Am I wrong? Well, well. well, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought somewhat over the top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock me! What does that mean? Be quiet! You just said monocombs.
The monocombs are stored in the balls. That actually is almost accurate. Almost. They're white. It's got cum in it. It's close. I'm close. I think I'm getting something here. No, no, don't get so worked up. It may be a machine, but you're not a de you're not a demon model. What? Next bit, please. Can we go back to Osama bin Laden's Bible Black collection? Some of some of his porn was actually um, they they hid text files in the files because they were so long. So some of his porn is just regular ass porn. But it seems like the hentai was for his recreational use. Is this hangar pointless now that the monocubs are gone? I'm now referring to you as horny for the rest of your life. Listen, it could be an elaborate smear campaign to just make, like, Al-Qaeda look like just... I was gonna say assholes, but I mean, like, I don't think anyone's like, you know, maybe they're just misunderstood. You know? Like, I think, I think pretty much everyone's on the same page on this one. But, but maybe it is like some sort of CIA, like, cyber, or was it, um, PSYOPs operation to make us think that Bin Laden jerked it to hentai and then we'd hate him for it you know i think that's kind of rare everyone's saying rev i feel like i'm going insane no i don't see i don't think that but i can see why someone would have the conspiracy theory that that was planted by the CIA. I could see that. I don't think that's true. I think he actually banged one out to Bible Black is what I'm trying to say. I was just paraphrasing something that someone in chat said. Anyway. If that's true, nothing is threatening us anymore. If all five exiles are stored here now, in the balls, they aren't moving at all. The exiles are not going to move anymore? They're not going to be used against us? Hydraulic press. Is that hydraulic press channel still going? The one where they just put things in hydraulic press and like turn it on like that's a that's a hell of a concept for a channel like how did they get the funding for that shit like you can't just get one of those right where the fuck did they find one you just like throw like a ps5 into a hydraulic press and turn it on that's this hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exiles huh scrap them yeah Like, do they just have, like, a separate, like, crusher just for that? And that they, they, they use that to, like, make make the money for whatever, like, thing they're doing? Like, they're, they're actually working on, like, I don't know, fucking flying cars or some shit that's cool. But, like, no one wants to fund flying cars because they're like, uh, it sounds kind of dumb. Like, I'm not about that. I mean, my neighbor drives like an asshole, so why would I want him flying around like an asshole? Am I right? But, like, they realized that they could get the funding they needed by, like, using the hydraulic press. Side note, I think flying cars would be fucking stupid, because I think my neighbors drive like assholes. Even the exiles could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. You're right. True. By the way, 
Also, you can control the hydraulic press here. This is called foreshadowing. I, a robot, much like an exile, could be crushed like by this hydraulic press. Just so you know. That's the thing that could happen to me. Anyway, moving on. Seems like you control the hydraulic press, so they just use the YouTube money to, like, uh, get the funding they need in order to, like, do the research they're trying to do. You literally need to study for years to fly a plane. I flew a plane and I didn't know what I was doing. That didn't stop me from flying a plane. What are you talking about? I think the uh, the the rev uh, mushroom is still available. There might be still a few left. If you want to get one, they're uh, 1950. Rev what? It was like. What do, what do you mean rev what? I just had the opportunity to fly a plane, and so I did because that would that was rad. I'm not going to explain myself. There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. There's a safety notice written here. This hydraulic press uses an infrared sen sensor. For that reason, this device will come to a halt if the sensor detects a living organism. Foreshadowing. Pretty sure that's a crime. I've never done a crime before. A hydraulic press has an infrared center that detects a living being and will automatically stop That's for safety true. reasons. Um, what do you think, Suichi? Huh? Of the safety function? I don't know. Well, then. Let's give it a try. The fuck are you talking about? No! Uh, um. Try what? I stood there confused. Kibo suddenly got under the press. I figured there would be like, this is how they would dispose of a body, not because of whatever the fuck this plan is. Shuichi, please. Uh. Please what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Uh. Man, this is one of those times that I want to, like, support my friend and, like, make sure that they're happy. But, like, you're literally asking me to kill you. This is a this is an exceedingly bad idea. How about we try this with, like, your arm or your foot or something so that way you can still live? Is, I don't think that this is, like, a philosophical decision that the hydraulic press is able to understand. <laughs> can you press the button for yourself? Let's find out. No! Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. You have regular human, like, reaction time speed stuff. We're straight up gonna kill a guy here. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. That's an awesome album, by the way. Rust in peace. Fucking rad. Been listening to a lot of Megadeth recently. Have I told you guys about the, the monkey song? The monkey song is amazing. It's called Public Enemy Number One. The, the, there's like a guitar solo. And when the guitar solo starts, right? A monkey pulls like a Tommy gun and just starts shooting everything. For the entire guitar solo. It's fucking rad. It's awesome. You should look it up. Public Enemy Number One by Megadeth. It's like a chimpanzee with a gun. It's fucking rad. It has. It makes no goddamn sense. Public Enemy Number One by Megadeth. It's just a great song. He's not gonna change his mind about this, so I guess I have to murder him. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, 
Start it up. If you'd be so kind, press the button that murders me, me with a hydraulic press. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I press the button. And then... Uh... Oh no! Has someone done an edit of that where it just like doesn't, he doesn't roll out of the way and then it just like has a, a grinding sound? Someone has to have. That was a close Wait. one. Wait, why'd you do that? Why? Why'd you press the four stop button, Suichi? Bro, what? It's not my but, fault, but at least we know now. Unfortunately. Seems I'm only perceived as a machine and not a human. For now. Well, to this hydraulic press, that is. The hydraulic press is a dumb bitch. Don't let it get you down, dude. You're right. Yeah. Looks like a car wash. Is it used for cleaning the this XLs? Is... This, that seems comfortable. It only washes machines. I want to prove that I'm not a machine. And it uses battery acid. Harmful to machines. Suichi, press the button. I want to see if I'm a fucking robot. <laughs> Comfortable, huh? What's this door? It's a hell of a bathroom. It's a bathroom. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long well. time. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here in a while. Monokuma and the Monocubs don't really need to use a bathroom. Do you guys remember... Natalie reminded me of uh, MRI machines. Does anyone remember that episode of House? Where the guy's got prison tattoos? And so it's got like lead in his tattoos. But they have to do an MRI. And they're like... I'm House. And I've got a cane. And I have a Vicodin addiction. And we really just don't have time to like give a shit about like his humanity, or whether or not he'll be okay. I just want to do this rad experiment. So we're going to put you into this MRI, and it's going to, like, pull all of the lead out of his skin. And it'll hurt like a bitch, but you can't move because we need to figure out if you have, like, lupus. And they're like, that's not how you test for lupus. And he's like, it's never lupus anyway. And it turns out it just rips all of, like, the, the ink out of his skin and it hurts like a bitch. It was a cool effect. Acknowledge the toilet? Yeah, it's 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 like a V8 toilet. But then why was there a bathroom here in the first place? So I was under the impression that we would never would be in here. Why would they make a bathroom? Does that mean I was wrong? There's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. No, no, that... Nothing concerns me here. I guess it's time for me to leave. So anyway, I forgot about slapping. That's a thing I can do. There is absolutely nothing to slap around here. What is the button? There it is. All right. Control panel. That's it's most likely a control panel for the alarm system and the electric barrier. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it. There's no reason we shouldn't turn on the barrier back on. There's no reason to turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Mike made up batching. Like, it's such a Mike thing to say. The idea of, of like, setting aside a couple years of your life to just, like, poop is entirely a Mike thing. Like... Bun time did? Okay, fair enough. Bun time's a mod for him, right? It was a Mike and Bun time dual ed for. Are you saying that because I didn't have the five nine, 59 digit code to deactivate it memorized? 
Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Is that what you're no. implying? No. Okay, so we've already checked that. We got the toilet, we checked the hydraulic press. Painting machine. That kind of looked like it was part of the same thing. This huge machine has several moving arms. What is it used for? This, is... this machine is probably used to paint the exiles. You're right. Oh, right. Kind of does smell of paint thinner. Um... Which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. You got a really rad color palette, dude. Like... Not gonna lie, you got a cool color palette going. I don't know if I would change that shit, but I do like wearing black. Maybe that's not your color, you know? You seem like a winter to me. You got the pale skin and all that shit. But all right. No. I don't think you need a makeover. I think you're great the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Then why bring it up? I've investigated everything here. There's definitely a hangar for the Exiles, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right. This place is no longer any purpose. Hey, Suichi. I wonder who the fuck that could be. There you are. I was looking for you. Why did you even pretend like I didn't know hey. that voice? Hey, come into the dining hall. Tsugumi says she wants everyone to meet us huh? there. Tsugumi? Yeah. She told me that she found something. It's probably the fleshlight. Okay. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna head go on ahead. The next flashlight. What will we remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining room. Chat's just disappointed me in general this stream. I figure I should just get that all out of the way this stream, so that way you guys are only disappointed to me now rather than continuously. Like, you guys are already kind of fed up with my shit this stream. So if I just, like, keep going with that, then it's just like... This is the episode of Danganronpa we'll skip. I think we'll come back. It's fine. Batching my disappointment. Yes. Implying you won't be back on your bullshit next stream. Implying I won't be back on my bullshit next stream. It's kind of what I'm going for. Your reservoir of shame can never bottom out. Nah. Nah. It's like when they, they make molasses. It gets stuck to the sides of the, the container. And they can never really clean it completely out. So it kind of just like sort of bakes up on in there. And eventually they have to throw out the whole container because it's just like just a, a meter thick of fucking molasses on the walls of the container. Is that true? No. Did I just make that up right then? Yes. Does it sound kind of legit? Yes. Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. You found the flesh light, didn't you? Let's use it already. What? I'm sorry, it's not the flesh light. Huh? It's not. I honestly, that's, that's what that was all about. What's that mean? Then why'd you go and call us here? I had to go to the bathroom. No. Do I recommend bathing in molasses? No. Found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious? Was it a body? Hold up. I know you say you got important shit to tell us, but like I gotta... Tear up this room for a second. Um. I saw this guy. Um, when I went out to go and get the uh, the preamp for uh my mic before stream, I saw this guy and he was wearing a shirt and it said, um. Have you ever considered a um, career in airline travel? 
I don't know what it was just black plain black shirt with like aerial font that said that and I had just been thinking about how much it must suck because I was driving around I like driving I like driving and listening to music but it's got to suck to be like flying a plane for like multiple hours right like all day every day and like yeah sure they've got like the the autopilot thing so you can just do that but like I was thinking that's gotta suck right like I was just kind of like driving around thinking that because you think about stuff like your ass is gonna hurt because I sit on my ass way too much already but like I, I can get up and walk around and in fact I do like I'll go on little walks around the neighborhood or something just to, like walk um but this guy was wearing that shirt and so I was just thinking about that when I saw him and it was completely unrelated why um flying's probably more stressful than driving what are you gonna run into deer it never even occurred to me to ask him like what the fuck was that Other planes, bad weather. When did this become a hentai review channel? I wasn't even talking about hentai. I was talking about planes. What the fuck does that have to do with hentai? Don't answer that. I've seen it. There's some weird shit out there. Some people are really horny about weird shit. Like planes. I don't know how that works. Like those, those planes that they, they, they'll be flying like an F-14 or whatever and they'll refill in the air. So what'd you find? One thing. The letters Gonta found in the courtyard. There's more added to them again. Huh? There's letters in the courtyard. Yeah. Looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. And it says... This world is mine. Kitsune Miku. That's what's written here. Thank you for the uh, five bits there, random person. Planes, indeed. This world is mine. What's that mean? What's going on? Why is Koichi's name? <sighs> so that's what it means. It was just a prank by Koichi. Huh? A prank? Ah. He kept adding to that message just so he could make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. <sighs> See, that definitely seems like something that he would do. That is true, but is that all, is all there is to it? Horsey, A. When Gota first found the writing, it said all it said was Horse A. Over time, more letters were added. Eventually, it read, "The world is mine, Tsune Miku." Can we really just subscribe this to Koichi's pranks? You know, what kind of prank is that? Who cares about Koichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Hmm. No one seems to have found it yet. Hmm. Maybe that's Koichi's fault too. He probably found it first and hit it. I see. That is possible. Like we need to do something and find him. There's no need to bother him. Best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore them. We'll just leave him be. You know a thing you can do in um, Among Us? This is going to be relevant in like five seconds, so just hold on to your seats. I'll get there in a minute. A thing you can do in Among Us is you'll kill someone in like electrical or whatever. You vent out, and while you're venting out, you set up a emergency in oxygen. And um, then they never get around to actually finding your... The, the body, you, it's like a real common strat. You get someone in a secluded spot, and then you send them to the other side of the map to go deal with that. What I'm saying is, like, what if, what if Kato killed him? Like, we only get called into a meeting once, like, we find the body, right? 
I'm not saying that he murdered him. I'm just saying, what if he did? Also, new highlight video today, because today's Wednesday. I'm going to try and see if that works. Uh, YouTube has been doing some weird analytic shit to my highlights channel recently, and I'm not sure why. Like, um, the last two it suppressed because I said fuck within the first 30 seconds. So, there's that. I intentionally tried to make it so that way it didn't say fuck in the first 30 seconds, uh, today's video. The other thing you can do is censor it, but I don't really want to censor my videos because that just upsets people and it's kind of shit. But, um, if I just move me saying fuck 30 seconds in, then we're good. 31 seconds hits, bam, fuck word is announced. It's a subtle little edit. But hoping that that actually helps. The best way to deal with a guy like him is to ignore them. So just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but weren't you the angriest out of all of us? Nah. They added the fuck word to Smash Bros. Huh. See, that's my trick, uh, V Joey. If I if I do like weird meta, like who knows if I'm fucking with you or if I'm just fucking stupid. Everyone will just assume that I'm joking every time I say something stupid, and the only other option is that I'm a genius. Right? So I get to make lots of jokes that I don't even intend on making because I'm just dumb. Big brain plays right there. Thinking about I mean, it's a little bit early to tell you guys, but leave it to me. Leave it to me. There's no need to, for you guys to worry. I'll figure it all out. Figure out hey what. I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Okay, it was gonna get us out of here. It's reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless. Huh. You guys don't get it. Heroes don't always. Heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Hero or whatever, doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course. Yeah, leave it to me. Perhaps Kato's confidence is baseless. It's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in time like this. A hero. He might really be one. That's what I mean. It, what part of the meta joke and what... And when am I the joke? See, that's the trick. Who knows? Me. I know. But I don't tell you. So that way it makes it seem like I'm not a dumbass. But I, I am, actually. We weren't able to find the flashback light. So we're all, we all left the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Joke roulette. Who knows? Who knows? It's like Russian roulette. You're right. Except I'm dumb. <laughs> it's kind of how Russian roulette works, actually. It seems like a dumb game. Just going to throw it out there. 16% chance that you die. And the reward is... I don't know. How often is Russian roulette played? I imagine it's like something you play maybe once and you're like, man, that was a bad idea. Or you're dead. One of the two. There's still mm. some time left. What should I do? What if you have five bullets instead of one? Well, then you have a 16% a chance of not dying. Am I three out of five with anyone? Zero, uh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. One, two, one, five, zero. She has done nothing this game. 
I'm gonna go slap around some shit and get some more uh, stuff. You guys tell me who you want me to go hang out with. His next event is good, do Kibo. Okay. What kind of shirt is that? Like I know that like when you go to like, I don't know, when you're when you're in college you get these like weird days where they try and recruit you to shit. Right? We used to have uh, poster day when I was at community college. Completely unrelated, but they just sell posters. And you'd go out there and you'd be like, man, like, I wasn't really thinking about buying this $10 poster for um, V from Vendetta, but like, it's 10 bucks and it's here and I could, you know? I'm gonna get the chances below 50% and then I'll... It's just that way I can get them all. I don't need to. Yeah, those posters always look like shit. Anyway, they have these days where they try and recruit you for shit. And they always have shirts for that. And I'm just like, that's gonna end up in a Goodwill someday. Maybe that's what happened with that guy. Like, he didn't actually, like, work for an airline recruiting agency. Which I don't think you, like, just do that shit, right? Like, I don't think you have... Like, surely just people want to be pilots. You don't have to, like, go ask people, Hey, do you want to become a pilot? People just are, like, about that shit, right? Either you're into the idea of being a pilot or not. I feel like the idea of looking up, you see a plane, and you're like, Man, that's rad. Right? I feel like that's like the, 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 the advertising. You see a plane and you're like, man, I wish I could do that. Rock, paper, scissors cards. That's a nice little cute reference. Nostalgia Critics, The Wall is the only album called The Wall. Oh. For some reason they had wasn't it the guy from Korn? As one of the singers? Why? Oh yeah, no, he did a cover album of The Wall. He thought it sucked, but he did a cover album of it. And then instead of covering... Getting the professional singer, the guy who's like... Won awards, I think? It's Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Excuse me, I get Slipknot and Korn mixed up. Instead of getting a guy who's, like, won awards and, like, gone platinum or whatever with albums, right? Instead of getting him to sing, they got the nostalgia critic to sing Pink Floyd. No one wanted this. Especially because he didn't like it. Which is the most confusing shit. And instead of that, instead of trying to get him to sing Pink Floyd, which I don't know if the guy from Slipknot would be any good at singing anything from Pink Floyd. But I have a feeling he'd be better than Doug Walker. No offense to Doug Walker. I appreciate his, like, you know, end of video thing where he shouts out like a charity. I think that's rad. Um, I don't really care for his stuff, personally. But I don't think he's much of a singer. Apparently, it's okay for me to say he's a piece of shit. Okay, fair enough. But, like, you know... How many items remain? I don't know. I'm apparently getting pretty close. Doing this allows me to unlock new stuff without it taking like a fucking hour for me to do. He was apparently trained. No, I, I listened to it. He. No. I've heard. I've heard music. I've heard music before. I've heard people sing before. 
I understand how to sing in key. I don't know as if Doug Walker does. It was such a low effort thing. And I realize it's been months. It's almost been a year since that shit came out. But like... Ketchup. Nostalgia Critic was okay for a while. We're talking about the wall cover, yeah. I can get Monokuma coins super easy. It's not it's not hard. Let's go into this other room and slap shit. Your tastes change when you get older. It's fine. I can always just smack these chairs around and get five coins. Apparently not these specific chairs because I've already gotten all the coins out of them for today. But I could go downstairs and slap some chairs. Or books or something. I don't know. Like, I think if you do YouTube long enough, you're going to make a couple bad videos. Um, usually for me, when I make a bad video, it's just like, you know, I worked real hard on this, but, you know, it's not actually funny, is it? Like, this one's not as funny as I would have liked. Um, his involved him trying to sing. Something that he didn't like. For who knows what reason. I have no idea what the purpose of that was. Like, what the demographic was. Like, who the fuck listens to Pink Floyd in 2019? I mean, they're a good band, but, like, who has, like, a, a, a strong understanding of Pink Floyd in 2019? That's gonna be watching his videos? I like, I like Pink Floyd. The first song I ever learned was a Pink Floyd song on guitar because Pink Floyd is straightforward, but like, I just feel like it's a weird fucking flex. Like he had the ability and the money to get Corey Taylor from Slipcorn. Like, why did he think that that was, like, I think sometimes I'm like, I could make a Warhammer video about, you know, the recent balance changes to Space Marines. Right? I could also say, with reasonable accuracy, no one would give a shit about that information. That's not what my channel does. No one cares about that. Like, I don't think I've reached the point in my career, maybe it's the depression. I don't think I've reached the point in my career, and I don't know if I ever will, where I put out stuff and I just assume everyone will like it every single time. Like, just haven't gotten there yet. I hope that happens. Um, I don't trust that it'll happen, but I hope it will. I hope that people will like what I do. But more often than not that I doubt that. Not because I doubt the quality of my work. No, that's it, actually. Like, I try and do my best, but I'm just still like, eh, I don't know about this one. Don't not believe in yourself. 
I think there's um somewhere between just hating anything and everything that you could possibly do and loving everything you do is a healthy balance that I could probably meet on the middle on. Um, I know someone who realizes the only way he can get people to laugh over his content is if he breaks his bones. I remember, um, I used to be with this YouTube network called Freedom. Um, and their top guy, the, the guy like that, you know, when you get a, a network, you usually want to say like, so-and-so is in our network, you know, like, uh, Screenwave, you go, you know, who's in our network? Vine Sauce. The Vine Sauce network of streamers are all on Screenwave. That's cool. You know who else is? Um, fucking... I'm trying to remember who else. Um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, AVGN. And you're like, wow, those are some good people. They, they, they must treat those people good. How do I start on Vine Sauce? I came by one of Vinny's streams and I'm like, hey, is it chill if I, uh... Yeah. Is it okay if I just, like, stream on your channel? And he's like, yeah. I think Jerma is Screenwave. I know Gaijin Goomba is on Screenwave. I remember me and Mike meeting Gaijin Goomba. And I who knew who Gaijin Goomba was, but Mike didn't. And it was like, kind of a weird conversation. Oh, I guess we're not, I forgot we were hanging out. I thought I was just walking around. Uh, we're gonna go hang out with Kibo. That was the plan. Well, this was back when, like, being a streamer didn't mean a goddamn thing. Being a streamer back in those days meant that 20 people would watch you play video games in, like, 360p. Like, no one gave a shit. Pro Jared's penis, sure, but that's more of a... It's more of Mike's thing. That's like a thing we do with Mike, you know? Hey. I mean, good for you, Sopa, man. Hmm. Make a pro Jared's penis emote. I don't think I can. I'm gonna be real with you, I think that one might get, uh, I think that might be one that Twitch is like, no. There's no flashback light, unless we missed it somehow. Should I hang out with Kibo for a while? Yes, just to prevent well him from then. walking into the fucking hydraulic press again. I spent some time looking for the flashback lights with Kibo. Kibo and I grew a little closer. What are Kibo's favorite items? Would you like to give him a present? Definitely. He likes oil, but I assume he'd get mad at me if I did it again. 34. He likes 34, 42, 76. Cool, he likes robot oil. You're getting robot oil. Thank you very much. This is a very practical gift. Thank you. Listen closely. Please don't get the wrong impression. I'm happy because this gift is so practical. 
Under different circumstances, this gift could be considered an act of robophobia. Shuichi! Do you mind if I ask you for advice concerning a particular matter? Uh, um... Advice? Are you sure when I ask me? Yes. In fact, you're the only one who I can talk to on this matter. The only one? Um... Still can't stop thinking. I, I was listening to a, like a, a 90s, 2000 playlist the other day on YouTube. I listened to some fucking Static X, which was like the Slim Jims guy, I guess. Anyway. Um, I can't get over the confidence that that guy said the line, I'm winning, you're losing. And he did these little finger things. It was on the song... The only, I think, was the name of it. It's like the first five seconds of the song, so go ahead and look it up, because it's just fucking weird. Hey, Rev, I just started listening to the Nostalgia Critics album, and it fucking sucks. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. This question has been in my mind for a while. Do you think I'm merely an ordinary dis Do you think I'm merely ordinary despite being an ultimate robot? Well. No, you don't need to answer. Compared to everyone else, I feel rather ordinary. Then why ask? If I must. So if I've been thinking, I need to address this somehow by taking action. Suichi, I intend to launch a robot business. A robot business? Indeed. Yes, I'm going to launch a business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. That's why I'm going to work and become a pop star robot. Can you sting better than the Nostalgia Critic? Uh, he got um, away with that. Not really, actually. No one really let him get away with that shit. Kiba wants to be a, a VTuber. A pop star? Why is Listen that? Closely. I arrived at this decision after uh, analyzing many options. The main reason is that robots do not have an have yet to advance into the pop music genre. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Hitsune Miku counts as a robot. And I was gonna say you should pick a different genre like rap, but I think that's the gorillas. Right? Does a robot have to be corporeal? Are the gorillas vocaloids? Vinny really likes the gorillas, right? Does that mean that Vinny is into vocaloids? Yes, it does mean that. Okay, cool. Make sure you let him know. The main reason is that robots have yet to advance the pop music genre. I don't think they've advanced in any music genre. Again, both pop, like J-pop and rap. For now. On the subject of pop stars, singing is what they're mostly known for, right? Pop stars is mostly the looks, I'll be real. That's... You can auto-tune that shit, honestly. Like, no one gives a shit if you know how to sing. Hmm. Looks, huh? I suppose I could alter my appearance to a certain extent. But, but I want to change how this professor designed me. Singing is how I will sign out. Well, then. I'm going to sing for you now. Please tell me what you think. Okay. All right, sure. I would soon regret those words. Uh... Have you thought about doing mumble rap? You have, you don't need to have any talent to do that. In fact, you could barely, you just take a fuck ton of Dimatap and just sort of say things and it'll work out. Kibo expressions while singing was so peaceful, so joyous. Ugh. My brain was being fried. I felt like my insides were scrambling. I can't block it out. I'm going to throw up. Uh. 
Several minutes later, I opened my eyes and still hunched over. How about this? So what do you think, Suichi? It was pretty good, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, Kibo. I don't think I can follow your music career. Huh? What do you mean? It's like when your friend says they have a ukulele. And they say, you know, I, 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 I play. I, I play the ukulele. Just a little bit. You want it? I mean, if you're gonna twist my arm, I could play some for you, and then you're just like, no, no, it's, no, it's good. No. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. I dabble, just a little dabble, play a little ukulele. Yeah, are you talking about uh, the weather? Reminds me of uh, the ukulele. Did you know I play? I brought it with me. Just, I mean, like I like to bring it with me because you know, I like to, I, I, I like to fiddle around on it. You know. Fuck you, you, you and your ukulele. Your singing it was terrible. I couldn't take it. Really? It was really that bad. Hmm. I don't think you should sing for people anymore. But how? Oh no, does that mean I can't become a pop star? I mean, that means that you could train. Ah. Wait, Kibo, that's it. You can play music, right? Why don't you just do that? You pretend to sing and play the song through your mouth. I can't. I can't do that. It's called lip syncing. Every pop star does it. Outside of Lady Gaga. Mad props to her. Because she actually sings that shit and does the dance moves. Which is why she, like, goes off key. Maximum props for her going off key while trying to dance. Because that's what it fucking would be really like. Ugh. Ugh. I'm disappointed in you. Lady Gaga deserves respect. That's an illogical compromise. Please understand my AI is a reflection of human desire for greater understanding. So I must experience the hardship of training. It's an easy pass that will under only hinder my progress. I got weak ass burps today. I don't know, dude. I guess I'd have fucked up my throat last night because for some reason just fucked up my my throat. I don't know why. Is Rev just gonna ignore all of Broadway? I'll be real, I haven't seen any Broadway shows outside of Hamilton. And I'm about to piss a bunch of people off. But I've watched about, I don't know, 10 seconds? Uh, almost specifically five seconds of Hamilton. They had an ad for Hamilton for a while. Um, just didn't want to be involved in what I was listening to. But I had to listen to it because it was five seconds for the ad to go away. So I could listen to what I wanted to. And it's really jarring to be listening to metal and then Hamilton. And then metal again. It's not good. Broadway is not accessible to people who do not live in New York. And I am very thankful I'm no longer in school because when I was in art school, that was what it was, you know? You'd hang out with the art kids and the art kids were in the same building as the theater kids. And not to dunk on theater kids again, but I'm gonna dunk on theater kids again. I don't get the appeal of musicals. I really don't. I don't get the appeal of musicals. I'm not into dance. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I just don't. Like, I don't... I don't think you should not do it, but, like... King Diamond's... King Diamond's albums are musicals. They're concept albums. They're concept horror movies as music. That's different. Like, I love the tenacity that theater kids go at everything. I wish I could go at everything in life at that level, but I just do not get it. I like art. I like painting. I like music. I like that kind of stuff. No idea what the fuck is going on with musicals and dance. Just don't understand it. If no, one possesses the ultimate level talent, that talent should not be a crutch, but a stepping stone to reach even higher gr heights. Okay.
Kibo made me gave my uh, dressing down, and I returned to my room. Never thought of the day where I, when a robot could preach to a human. Come to think of it, I didn't come to any conclusion about his robot business. I think he could be a pop star, but I think he has to make some consolations. Like some people are just born tone deaf, and you are made tone deaf. Which is pretty much the same shit. What should I do? Um, y'all want me to do Sugumi, or do you want me to keep like hanging out with that dude? That was weak. That was weak. I give myself a negative five for that one. Save and hang out with Kibo again. Sorry, I've ranted a lot today. You're getting the homestuck experience where like we make five seconds of progress and like it the rest of the two hours and something minutes is just me talking about whatever weird shit. Like me dunking on theater kids and talking about Osama bin Laden's hentai collection. Like that's what that's what Homestuck streams are like too. You don't even have to give a shit about Homestuck to watch Homestuck streams. Let me be real. Skip the parts where I'm talking about Homestuck and you will have like 30 minutes of stuff that you could skip. It is like an hour and a half of me talking about a, whatever random bullshit I felt like bringing up that month. Hey, looking for Kibo. Right, I keep forgetting I can just know where he is. Uh, yeah, there. Why am I locked? Because I'm a dumb bitch. Like... Ostensibly, you also get to listen to me read Homestuck. You get to listen to a dyslexic person not do voices and read Homestuck. It's really the most unlistenable thing ever. You should go subscribe to my YouTube channel because, hey, you've been listening this long, and you like my voice, and you like the kind of random bullshit I talk about, so you might like it. Seems like you like me enough to, to, to give me a follow on, on the Twitch and on the y YouTubes. Just skip around a bit. Skip around past the parts where I, I'm reading. I eventually do get to like Homestuck. It just seems like I don't in the beginning. You know, Monokuma hasn't presented us with a motive yet. What is he plotting? Should I hang out with Kibo? Yes. Mm -hmm. When will I do an ASMR burp video? Um, I'd have to like work on that. What even is Homestuck? 90s pop references, 90s pop culture references with the most insane clusterfuck of rules and logic that are continuous, that make sense, that work together, but keeping it all straight without just being fucking super duper into it is almost impossible. That's what Homestuck is. So Jojo? No. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's like Jojo. Where it's it's very popular and the people who want to tell you about it are kind of annoying. But they mean well because they have this thing they like. Like Warhammer. Jorated, thank you for the nine months of support. Vriska did things. Sure as shit. Jojo is much more straightforward, yes. Perhaps he's expecting Koichi to act on his own without even making or needing a motive. Maybe we should look for Koichi. Nah, I'm, I'm good. We spent some time looking for Koichi. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Yes. What are those numbers again? I know I don't have any more robo oil. And Robo Oil was the next one on the list. So there's another one after that that he loves. 97. Oh, cool. He likes sparky, sh sparky sheets. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's used to clean robots. Cool. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you King much. Kieran. I would not remember that. Very Listen practical. Closely. Robo, yeah, right. Robo Shuichi. Yeah. Have you given more thought to our previous discussion? Sparkly. I see. Like cleany. Our previous discussion? I remember when you suggested he faked the singing. I'm sorry. Yes, I have, Kibo. I apologize for saying what I did. Yeah. I accept your apology. After all, humans and robots alike seek greater understanding. Well then. As for my robot business, if I can't be a pop star, I have to think of something else. But I can't seem to think of anything else. Do you have any other ideas? Something else Kibo could get into. I really upset him last time. I should really think hard about this. Wow, all of these sound like he's going to get offended if I say them. Definitely RoboMaid is going to offend him. High risk work is, you know, oh, you think robots aren't worth it? Chat says RoboMaid, so we're going with RoboMaid. Same with stunt work. Are those lights on his chest supposed to be his nipples? Yes, those are his headlights. He's flashing his headlights. Apparently what you say here does not matter. Someone was saying that about other ones. Then What about RoboMade? What is it? I think you've been partaking in too much science fiction. No, I've just been watching the Jetsons. <laughs> Besides, I put, couldn't possibly fit into a maid better than Kirumi. You're right. Made costume better than Kirumi. That's a very different sentence that I just read. Hmm. All right, then. Ah. Perhaps a caregiver robot. With life expectancy rising, I'm sure that's there's a demand. See. A caregiver robot. I hadn't considered that. Well then. All right, I'll begin practicing at once. I'm counting on you to help me, Suichi. No. How could I po How could I possibly help you, Kibo? Please. I would like you to role play as someone in my care. This is a weird ass fetish you got going. I'm not about this. Okay. Ah, I see. All right, sure. Well then. Uh, first attempt to assist you in getting in ready for bed. What about helping the elderly? Uh, um. So I can pretend to be old. Now you'd still have to change my diaper if that were the case. This is gonna be fucking weird no matter what. All right, I'm ready for bed. Can you help me change in my pajamas? Impossible. Changing clothes? I can't do that. It's too embarrassing. No. It's care work, Kibo. You don't have to be embarrassed. Don't. It's embarrassing. What's embarrassing is embarrassing. Can't change that. No clothes changing. Hmm. All right, all right. Well then. I'll try picking you up and placing you on the bed. Okay. There's no bed here, so I suppose well, I'll just have to make do. I got into the fetal position so that Kibo could carry me more easily. It's kind of embarrassing. This could le easily lead to a misunderstanding. All right. All right, here I go. Kibo announced with determination, then he began to lift me up. He's not picking me up. Hmm. Kibo, what's wrong? My back, my back. Huh? Your back? I thought you were a robot. How rude. You're too heavy. Really? Ah, I'm normal for my age. <sighs> it hurts to move my back. Why did they give you pain sensors? The fuck is wrong with your creator? I guess that makes caregiving out of the question. Like, what do you like to do? Like, when no one's around and you have free time to do whatever you want, what do you want to do with yourself? Not saying you should monetize your hobbies, because... That's not always a good idea. Ironically, I ended up carrying Kibo on my back and taking him to his room. Yeah, I think they already mentioned that he was designed to be an old man now. <coughs> this this is the time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun. Oh, Patunk, I know that's a joke, but Jesus, it's rough. 
killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight or sleep with the fishes? Either way, sweet dreams. Do you think Monokuma had an OnlyFans? I don't think you can use OnlyFans for anything other than for boobles, right? Or dick? It's dick and boobles, right? That's the point. But It's night time. Would have been training. Huh? You can use it for anything, but they're known for ass, right? Like, if I say I'm starting an OnlyFans, like, you guys aren't going to be like, oh, that's nice. Like, I'm scared to see if they do a better cut than Patreon. Because if they did, then, like, I'd have to, like, switch to them. And it'd be like, guys, support me on my OnlyFans. Hmm. What's wrong? Well... Kato asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Your research lab? <sighs> Might as well show him, since he knows I won't take no for an answer. You have to come, too. She wants to, me to go? Mackie invited me, so I should go. Uh, yeah, I think um, Patreon cracked down on porn. Like, you can't do porn on Patreon anymore. And that's how I was able to explain what Patreon is to my parents without them being like, oh. Because I think, to the osmosis of, like, just civilization, my parents would probably figure out what... Where where the fuck did she go? You still do cartoon porn. Ah, okay. So if you draw the porn, it's fine. People should be able to draw porn. And do pictures of the boobles. Consenting boobles should be fine. Ah, oh. there needs to be a place for that. I'm sorry, I'm late. Hmm? Uh, okay. So you came too. Uh, okay. Yeah. As I utter, as if utterly bored by the painful silence, Mackie started up a conversation. To pull? Why did you suddenly ask to see my research lab all so suddenly, Kato? Ah. Just want to see what kind of weapons were in here. What? Why would you want to see my weapons? You know... There's a lot of stuff in here. Can you use all these, Mackie? Roll. I see. Good conversation. Yes, more or less. So... There's no swords of any kind here, Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type, not after I botched a mission with a katana. Hmm. I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. She's literally an assassin. Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Huh? What's that black case over there? Gun? As if backing away from the conversation, Kato headed to the far bookcase. So... What's in it? Some sort of kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why not open it? Let's see. Kato pulled something from the black case. Hmm? What's this? A bunch of parts? It's crossbow. It's a hand crossbow. I see. Yeah. It's a disassembled crossbow. Hmm. So when we put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. 
Hey, Makirel, can you teach me how to use this thing? I want to murder people. Sure, whatever. Sure, I don't mind. Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... While watching these two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Kato struggles while Mackie gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in together in putting... Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Her fingers were weird. They had like a weird red glow to them. Well, I built it. I became an and it became an extra cool crossbow. So what? Doesn't matter who builds it though. That's right. Seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next hey. time. Do you want to learn too? No. No, that's all right. I sort of understood from watching anyway. Hmm. Let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing Are the steps. Are you serious? Wait, I have to do it. Right. Who else is gonna do it? My bad. Sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? Seems like I'm not 100%, so I'm gonna go Got back first. Hey. Ignoring Mackie trying to stop him, Kato fled the room. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd be the type to run away with a crappy lie. How annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well. Oh, well, that's just Kato. <sighs> You're the worst, too. Huh? What? Well... I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You are trying to get Kato and I to wait, make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But... I don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Gonta, if I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I think I have... I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Mackie. I just need more time. <sighs> didn't realize the two of you would require such high maintenance. Sorry. But now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Mackie would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thank you, Mackie. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I had finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. The Academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Koichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kato. All right. I need to make up with him for us and Mackie. I fell asleep thinking about it. <coughs> oh, you're not going to voice act that? Damn it. Why? Why now? Why? Me. He has exploding organ syndrome. Damn it. I'm running out of time. It's fatal. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I, I still haven't gone to, to space. Damn it. Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful, I want to print those words reckless beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made out of. What makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations. It's what makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it'll make you immortal. If your haters laugh at you, let them. I just don't appreciate the reckless beauty like you do. Dangan Rambo. Rambo. Almost got that joke right. Ahem. This is Rise and Shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there! Embrace your homicidal urges! And have a fabulous day! sure everyone's gathered in the dining hall I should go to. Alright. I think we're gonna have to call it there because like 
I, I'm losing my voice a bit. And I need to make sure that I can still talk by the time that Town of Nowhere comes up on Friday. This Friday. Two days from now. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Regular time for me to be streaming. Um, so, so nothing that you guys have to try and figure out. Nice and easy. It should be good. It's going to be a good one. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoy it. I hope you guys come on out. Let me check and see if there's any art real quick. If there is, there is. There is one art that I'm going to show off. And it's rad as fuck. It's in like Town of Nowhere colors too. Check this shit out. It's from Dr. Mia Wu. Let me uh, pull it up real quick. It's rad as fuck. They posted it on uh, Twitter. Show it here as well. Look at this. It's fucking cool. Look at that. That's fucking rad. Dr. Mia Wu. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's rad as shit. Thank you for the art, dude. It's awesome. And it's like symmetrical. That's cool too. It's very cool. I love it. This would be awesome on a skateboard. Fuck, you're right. Shit, that looks like it should be on a skateboard. Slaps. Indeed. Um. Hi, Abby. Okay, well, I'm gonna wrap it up now. And then I'll pet you, okay? Give me just five more seconds. So that's where I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Uh, let's see if I can raid some art person or something. So that way uh, you guys can get uh, some more coffee points. So that way you guys can have something for uh, the town of nowhere this week. I hope you enjoyed stream tonight. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. And if you're not subscribed on YouTube and you've watched this far, probably should, man. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go. Brrrr.